Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing cha-ching number 11. I feel like it has been a while since I've done a cha-ching video. Uh, when I was getting my, um, the things that I have sold together, I was like already on two pages. Uh, so I, I already have like a full page uh, for my next cha-ching. So this one's going to be probably long. There's a lot of stuff on here. Um, so I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible. These are just some of the things that have been selling lately for me. I feel like my sales right now, um, I had an uptick, but I feel like in the past couple of days, uh, things have slowed down a little. Uh, so I'm not quite sure why that is. I know I have seen on other like eBay, Facebook type groups that other people are experiencing the same thing. I also heard that eBay was doing like an update. So I don't know if that has anything to do with why sales are kind of uh, slow right now. I've been trying to list a couple of things every single day. So I don't know. It's just how it goes in the world of eBay. So let's just start off with what recently sold. So the first thing I have is a little Clinique skincare set. This was new. I had purchased it at a yard sale. I probably paid like 50 cents for it, a dollar at most, and it sold for $12.99. Next was an Abercrombie and Fitch just little black romper. This was so adorable. Um, I can't remember exactly where I got it, uh, but it sold uh, for the same price, $12.99. I did have quite a few clothing sales, which was nice because sometimes I feel like clothes um, are a harder thing to sell because you're really trying to find that one person who is looking for that one specific item in this, you know, their size and this specific color, you know what I mean? So it's kind of hard sometimes, I think, to uh, get clothes to really go. But next we have an Ann Taylor sweater. This one sold for $10.99. It had a lot of watchers and I kept lowering the price, hoping that one would nab it. Um, so if someone finally did. Uh, we also have a Mrs. Mike's Chips trucker hat. This was a vintage trucker hat. Um, I got this at a yard sale. Probably paid again like a quarter for it or something like that. I know some trucker hats are worth more than others. I have a few uh, currently listed that I've had up for a while that haven't sold. But for whatever reason this one sold and it sold for $13.99. I also sold quite a number of purses again. I know in my last cha-ching I had done a kind of like death pile video of purses and you know more than purses are starting to leave which is awesome. So I sold a Junie and Burke purse for $35.99 and I got that for a buck at a yard sale so that's awesome. Uh, next thing we got is a set of Philadelphia Eagles glasses. These were uh, drinking glasses. Erica purchased these at Goodwill. Can't remember what we paid for them. Probably, I want to say maybe $1.99 um, for the, they had them in a shoe box. So for all three. And they sold for $29.99. So that was surprising to me because when he picked those up, I was kind of like, I don't know about that, but... You just never know what's gonna sell on eBay, right? Uh, next thing we have is a lot of necklaces. I literally cleaned out my jewelry armoire and listed up some jewelry. I still have some jewelry lots um, listed that haven't sold yet, but this lot of necklaces sold for $14.99. So just jewelry of my own that I've had that I don't wear anymore, I just listed up. Um, next is a Lowly Worm plush. I know and I have heard and I myself have sold plushes in the past for a lot of money. Um, there is definitely money to be made with plushes, vintage and non. Um, I don't really know exactly which ones 
sell for what. That is something that I should probably dive a little deeper into research. So some people like plushes are they're pretty much bread and butter. Um, so this one sold for $33.99, which is kind of crazy uh, for a plush. Um, but I have sold other plushes for way more than that. So I know there is money in plushes. I just don't know exactly which ones. Uh, next we have a Warren Reed purse. I got this at a thrift store. It was brand new with a tag, so like a vintage old um, stock item. And that sold for $39.99. I also sold a lot of two YSL perfume. These are just little sample vials, like literally the vials you would get on little sample cards. They sold for $13.99. So it's a fragrance that is harder to find. It is a vintage, I believe a vintage um, fragrance. And those came out of <laughs> the box lots from the auction. I am still selling stuff from those. It's crazy. Cannot wait for the auction to start back up again because I'm definitely going to be um, buying up some box lots because they're just so much fun to go through. I also sold a cachet skirt. This sold for $13.99. I always heard cachet was a good brand. I do have, I think, a pair of pants listed. I've had listed for a while that no one is purchasing, um, but it definitely is a brand that I, you know, pick up when I see it. Uh, next was a lot of Primal Pit Paste deodorant. I sold this as a lot of two. And if you've watched my other cha-chings, you know I have already sold uh, a lot of two. So this is my second round. And again, they sold for $20. Um, I was getting those at Eric's work sale. So I was paying like, I don't know if they were 50 cents a piece or a dollar a piece. Um, but yes, yeah, so I think I don't have any more of those, but I may have one, I think I might have one more tube, but I wouldn't be able to make it in a, into a lot. Uh, next thing I have is an Erase Max Factor uh, Vintage Makeup. This sold for $19.99. I got this out of one of the, um, auction box lots as well. People collect vintage makeup. I mean, I hope they aren't using it. I like stress in my, my description, like, you know, for collectible purpose only. I mean, I don't think it would hurt to use something like that, but it's definitely to me something more of like a collector type thing, especially if like you know, you have like an old vanity and then like set it all up with like um, just vintage old Hollywood style like makeup and accessories and stuff like that, like perfume atomizers. Oh my gosh, that's just, ah, uh, I would love to have something like that. So that's just what I envision when people buy <laughs> something like that. Um, next we have a Fendi Mini Perfume, again, from the auction box lot. This one sold for $18.99. Another purse that sold was a Fry purse. Um, I got this at a yard sale oh, ages ago, and I think I paid like a dollar for it. Um, I didn't know what to to list it at, so I put it on auction and it sold for $62, so that's awesome. Um, definitely, well, Fry is a great brand regardless, so if I ever would see that out and about, I, I would definitely buy it. They just make really nice leather items, purses and shoes and things like that, boots. Um, next is another purse, a Kate Spade purse. Again, I put this one up on auction as well uh, for a starting bid of $39.99, and that is what um, it ended up selling for. Uh, let's see, next we have a men's Harley Davidson shirt that sold for $17.99. I know I got this at a thrift store, and I think it was only a dollar or two at the most. An Etienne Agner a little key holder. Um, this also came from an auction box lot and it sold for $13.99. Uh, 
I also sold a Levi's denim jean jacket for $28.99. A pair of men's diesel jeans for $36.99. Um, I think I got these at the Goodwill on like dollar day. I feel like I did. Um, men's diesel jeans. Every single pair. Well, I don't find them very often. But every pair that I have ever picked up has sold for a decent price. So that's definitely a brand, especially men's jeans specifically to to keep an eye out for same with Hanover shoes I sold a pair of these Hanover shoes uh, wing tips I can't remember exactly where I got them but they sold for $62.99 I feel like some are worth more than others like I definitely feel like wing tips are worth more than you know like a, a moccasin style loafer or something like that um, but I definitely, depending on condition and what I'm paying for it, I would still like pick them up regardless. Next was a Jilly dress that sold for $19.99. Uh, when I got this, I thought it was a different brand because there is a brand called G-I-L-I. -I, and I thought that was the brand of the dress, but it ended up not being. But the dress still sold. So, I mean, I guess the Jilly brand is still um, a good brand. Uh, next, I sold a Patagonia jacket for $22.99. I listed this, like, really, really cheap because I got it at um, Goodwill on... It was a dollar day, but... Um, I did end up paying full price for it, which I can't remember exactly what it was. I want to say it was like six or seven dollars full price um, and ended up not noticing in the store. Well, when I got home, there was uh, quite a number of defects with it. Um, so I was debating on whether or not even listing it, but I um, took pictures of everything and put it in my description and someone still purchased it for $22.99. Um, it's just, you know, with clothing, sometimes it's so hard to really look at absolutely each aspect of the piece because sometimes, especially like if the lighting's bad in the store and you just don't notice something, um, that's wrong with it. And I mean, I would assume the thrift store wouldn't put stuff out like that. But, you know, again, other people who are pricing stuff might not notice things either. Uh, next was an Anne Klein scarf. I sold for $12.99. And I got this from the Goodwill bins. Um, you know, since you're paying by the pound, it's where I tend to pick up a lot of scarves and things like that. Because they don't weigh anything. And this one was absolutely beautiful. Next was a benefit purse. This was really cool because it was shaped like a pair of lips. It was a promotional type item and that sold for $37.99. Just super fun. And if you're like a lover of like the brand benefit or you know a makeup brand in general, some people collect um, things by that brand. I mean some of you know I'm obsessed with Lush so like I've purchased lush items like I have a little like lush bath bomb tube um up on my shelf so like you know depending on the brand if you love a brand so much then you just you know you like to have things by that brand not just the things that they um you know are known for but things that have their name on type thing and uh, next was a little Revlon Intimate Mini Perfume, again, from the auction box, lots. Uh, that sold for $19.99. Another purse I sold was a Clark's purse for $24.99. I think I still have... I feel like I still have a Clark's purse listed as well as a little coin purse that hasn't um, sold yet. Oh, and I think a wallet as well. So you guys know I love picking up Clark's items. Uh, next was a pair of Kappa pants. These were brand new with the tag. I got these at a rummage sale 
and yeah so I mean averaging out everything I purchased at the rummage sale I probably paid like 50 cents for them um, and they sold for $59.99 so that was awesome especially considering they did still have the tags I sold a coach purse for $39.99 a set of three lotions by Love and Toast for $19.99. Uh, that Marc Jacobs coin purse I recently got at a yard sale for $1. I sold that for $39.99. Those pair of toads or tods, um, moccasin loafers, I showed these in my death pile shoes video and I was kind of like on the fence about even listing them because when I purchased them at Goodwill, I did not realize they were cut. Like the little banded strap, um, the penny loafer uh, style strap was cut off of both of them. But I didn't even realize it until I got home. Um, because really, unless you knew that that strap was there, it was hard to tell. So I ended up listing them, took the pictures, explained in the description, you know, the defect and everything like that. And they still sold for $29.99. Like, these are a very, very, very expensive shoe. So I figured, because they were in really good condition other than that, that someone who isn't, like, obsessed by, by that fact would still probably really enjoy the shoes and they did so I am happy that they sold but just goes to show you again like really 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 uh, paying attention to the things that you are purchasing from thrift stores because thrift stores still put things out on their shelves that have stains that have holes that have defects so just keep Try to keep an eye out. Like, I I try to myself, but obviously, as you can see, I, I still miss things, too. Um, next was a Lane Bryant kind of like kimono type robe. This thing had so many watchers, and again, it was something that, like, I kept lowering the price and lowering the price. Like, someone's gonna buy this at some point. Well, they did at, um, when I lowered it to $13.99. Um, next we have an interlude perfume, which guess where it came from? The auction box lot, of course. This one was a really good sale at $65.99. So again, vintage perfumes, ones you can't get anymore. Um, people just go ape crap for them. I'm trying not to curse here. Um, next thing that sold was a pair of shoes by Melissa. These were so cool. They kind of had like a jelly st uh, type of texture. Like you remember like the old, old jelly shoes. Um, and apparently it's a really good brand. Like they are, um, on the expensive side and they sold for $39.99. I got those at Goodwill. Um, I sold a Henry Bendel um, mirror, like a compact mirror for $35.99. Henry Bendel is just a very expensive brand. I have one of uh, the purses, one of his purses um, listed. It has a lot of watchers, but no one bought it yet. I have it listed pretty high, uh, so I might have to come down on price, but it is just an amazing purse. It's so well made, so nice. Um, next we have a vintage kind of, it was called a Zonite. I guess that was a brand. I'm not sure. Um, measuring glass. This thing was really cool. Very unique. Um, this came from one of the mystery boxes I purchased off eBay. Uh, if you guys uh, remember, it was an estate sale mystery box. Uh, that ended up selling at $12.99. So I am making my money back on that box. I have sold quite a few things uh, from that mystery box. Next was another perfume. This was a Chanel number no. 5 that sold for $34.99. I sold a Betsy Johnson. This was kind of like a makeup, cosmetic, travel, organizer type bag. It sold for $15.99. A pair of Fila shorts, like running shorts. These sold for $8.99. So not a lot, but 
you know, they're out of the house and I made a little on them. They probably came from like a fill a bag sale. Um, I also sold a Harley Davidson a women's button up shirt for $16.99. I can't remember where I got this. Eric might have uh, purchased it on one of his, his outings to the thrift store. And lastly was a Brighton coin purse. I think a subscriber purchased this uh, from me. It sold for $9.99 and I apologize. I, since I have let my chichings kind of go for a little while, I haven't been paying as much attention to, um, you know, like I'll, sometimes when a subscriber buys something from me, they'll put like a little message so I'll see it. And then other times I don't realize until like I get a feedback from them and then they say it in the feedback. So I apologize if any of these were, um, any of these purchases that I shared today in this video uh, were from a subscriber and I had forgotten to, to say something. I'm gonna try to be a little bit better at that um, in the next video because uh, I do like to, you know, point you guys out because it just eh, makes me smile when I see a little note saying that it's from a subscriber. Uh, but anyway, that is everything for this cha-ching. I'm going to end it here. That was 42 things and it's, ooh, my video is only like 20 minutes long so that's not too bad. Um, so like I said, I do already have um, another full page of things to to go over in my chiching number 12 video so that's awesome uh, but like I said uh, I feel like sales are a little slower than what they have been here lately which I think also has to do with the fact that there are states opening back up so people are able to go back out now to other stores and things like that so just maybe people don't have time to be on on the computer buy, buying stuff as much right now either uh, but I do like in, in the past like from selling on eBay I do feel like uh, the summer months are more slower um, so that's not completely unordinary for for me anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you find these informative uh, maybe you know I'll say something or show something that maybe you didn't know could sell for or potentially sell for what it does and then you know when you're out and about you can look for the same things so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time